Greetings everybody. So today I want to talk about how you can actually run your smart home without getting one single echo device. Amazingly, you can actually run your smart home and do a lot of the echo functions. As a matter of fact, probably all of them without actually getting an echo device because the voice assistant is built into the app itself and also the music app. You don't have to actually get an echo device to do smart home commands. So you can still turn on the lights, you can still play music, and you can do a lot of functions without having an echo device. Because a lot of the things you do as far as setting up the device and routines and stuff like that has to be done in the app. You can set alarm, you can do to-do list, you can add things to your calendar, you can do whatever you can think of within the app. So with that being said, you can actually control your smart home through the app and you wouldn't need a single Echo device. You can do the same for music because you can actually play the music on your phone or Bluetooth the sound over to an external speaker and you still wouldn't need a smart speaker. Now the only drawback of not getting an Echo device is you cannot use the wake word feature, but you can actually use it in the music app because if you say her name, it's going to wake up and then you can ask for music or you can turn on the lights or whatever it needs to be. So you're going to miss out on the hands-free function because you still have to go to your phone and wake her up to do any of these commands that you would like to do. But really and truly, if you don't want to get any kind of Echo device, the smart speaker, the shows or any other device that involves with the Echo ecosystem, you can actually go without it and run all the functions from the app. If you don't mind the inconvenience of going to your phone and turn on the app so you you can actually give her a voice command. Here's another option too. If you just go with the fire stick, you have all the commands that you want to give out using just the fire stick. It'll basically turn your TV into an echo show because you're going to see the weather and all that stuff display on the TV that you would ask without having an echo show. And the drawback with that also is the fact that you can't use the wake word. You'd have to grab the remote, press that button, and then, you know, give your command, but at least you can still function without getting a smart speaker or the echo show so i just wanted to put that option out there because a lot of people think that you need an actual smart speaker to set up a smart home setup with your echo devices but you really don't you do have the option of just using the app by itself or even a fire stick so if you don't mind the inconvenience of not having the ability to just shout out a wake word to wake up the device and you'd have to go to the app or even pressing the button on your fire tv stick remote then go with this option, it's much cheaper. And to be honest with you, I've used my phone or the remote to give out commands and she can hear me much clearer than sometime I have to yell two or three times at the speaker. Even though the speakers and the echo shows are getting better at recognizing your voice, you still get a good 99.9% .9 response of the command using the phone or the remote. So the main reason you don't need the echo show or the speakers to run your smart home or even get weather report or anything else that you would like is because lives in the cloud, not on the speakers, not on the phone app, not on the fire stick, on any other echo devices. So that means that she can respond to you in the same way without having an echo device or an echo show because she's cloud-based and not device dependent. So that's why she can still give you the full experience doesn't matter what device or app she's available in. Okay, so I hope I opened up your eyes a little bit more so you can see how the smart assistant work and not believing that you have to have an Echo device or even an Echo show that you can still give out the commands. Whether you wanna use the app or your Fire TV remote, to control your smart home, just remember that you won't be able to use the wake word as freely as you do with the Echo devices. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching it. If it was enjoyable to you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.